Let's go, everybody. My name is Chris, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play Spider Man Squarepants The Legend, The Revenge, The. Um. Something. I don't know. This is The Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. There we go. I did it. All by myself, with nobody's help. Uh, last episode, we got to the pier. If you only watched part of the episode for some reason, you missed a lot. Cause this is the same pier. Rat last time <laughs> many a thing have changed if <laughs> um such as the, you know everything's kinda destroyed now. It's, it's a giant mess. There's this boat over there going crazy like, Yeah Dude. I just sound like the CSI Yeah, you know what I'm talking about there. In the intro, no, okay, whatever. You either get her or you don't, okay? Okay, so I'm actually getting right to the end already. Holy crap, this is gonna be a quick episode. Oh, wow, that kid just stuffed that lollipop in his mouth. Well, at least he's eating it now. Better than before. Oh no, I missed. I missed the boat. Wow, I could be wrong. But I think this actually looks different than when I played this last time. Pretty sure all this garbage was in the same section. Oh man, these boxes really just remind me of, um. What's it called? Uh, Super Mario Sunshine, you know the floating glass box things, plastic glass boxes. Yeah, those ones. And there's a dude over there, a dude guy. Okay, these ships could be kind of annoying to go around because momentum's like throwing me off the boat. Even though momentum should keep me at the same momentum that this boat has, but no. Also, that guy in the middle is so fat he causes his own gravitational pull. And by gravitational pull, I mean like you know, current parental pull. There we go, I got the G. It is still very, uh, it, I didn't get the correct music again, I don't know why. Alright, let's just die and have it sent us back to the beginning. What? That's right, we gotta make our way back. Innovating video game. Oh my god, that is not gonna go. No, it is not. Okay, oh no. Ooh, a goo. Okay, well, I was gonna say, we almost had a weird glitch I was running into when I was playing this before it happened. I'm gonna kinda try to have it work out. The only unfortunate thing about it is when you do this so called glitch. It's not even really a glitch, really. Um, kinda, you gotta die on purpose once you're finished playing around with it. Okay, so we get on the boat here. And we are now on the boat. And now I could, yeah, use the camera, we can look around. Pretty sure we can see some stuff. Yeah, there's a there we go. There's a boat at the bottom here of the ocean. You can see all the things that are like spinning in the water that are like half submerged. Yeah, the weirdest thing is that like little tugboat at the bottom, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we're actually under the water still, but it just looks like, you know, the game just everything is broken. Has broke all the things. Wow, there's clouds below us. <laughs> uh it's like going to heaven. Aw. I don't think we could actually get out of here, but let's let's try it out. Yeah, it's too high of a jump, I think. Plus, the momentum is throwing me off. Alright. Alright. Let us die. Let me die peacefully. I'm sure that's the same boat we're on. Yeah, I'm not gonna try jumping for that because I know it's gonna fail. So, yeah, getting the letter. Interesting challenge. Making your way back, though. I honestly find it to be obnoxious. It's much easier to die going back. Also, what do we add for game totals? 90% doubloons. Okay, hopefully not nearly. I was hoping for like 95% here because I know there's one more spot where you get a bunch of doubloons, but it's not that much. I'm really worried. We're going to want to stand to the right here. Because where we're going to want to be aiming to go is that island right there. Or that ledge, that little platform right there. It's the platform's a bit only. I don't... I mean, I guess you get the option to either stand on the box or the boat. The box being ad advantageous because you'll have to, you know, it gets you higher up in the air so it's an easier jump, but the boat smaller, you know, and the box is moving a lot, so there's plus sides and negative sides to both. And yeah, you really don't want to die here. I have to make these jumps very carefully, because yeah, if you die at any point here, you get sent back to where the letter was. Jeez, okay, that's another easy spot to die. Jumping on that, that guy floating in the water there. Also jumping on top of this, I'm pretty sure those are the two easiest spots to die in. Good lord! 
Uh, why am I doing? Oh no, I forgot that one moved. Woo -hoo -hoo! Holy crap. Okay, I'm pretty sure past this point it actually checkpoints me. So at this point, I'm not really as nervous about dying. But still, holy crap. I am shocked into that my first time. Oh, dang it. Well, <laughs> but every time I, that I start dying, I die. That's a nice checkpoint, like right in the middle of the area. I am okay with this dot JPEG. Jump on that. There we go. There we go. There we go now. There we go. There we go. There we go now. All right. Oh boy, boy. Eh. I sound like I'm pooping when I'm trying to make these jumps. I don't know if we can make that. Oh, just barely. I don't know why I take risks like that. I just like living on the edge, you guys. Interested to see if I die here full checkpoint me back on top of that. I don't know if I can make this jump or not. This is a dumb idea. Mm, I can do it! Uh, huh. Alright, kid with a lollipop. At least you're at the entrance here. I feel bad for all the other people that, you know, are kind of across the way here so that they'll, they're never coming back. They're all just dead. They're all dead. Okay, let's Let's see. I mean, we don't probably don't have many letters left, do we? Maybe only one left or two? One or two. So, I mean, we got the jellyfish one and the doubloon one. <laughs> I like how that door automatically opens. Defeat Larry in a karate match. To the crow's nest. Okay, so there is two. I really don't think there's 10% worth of uh, doubloons left in the of the final area. So I'll be really curious. I really hope I didn't miss anything. I'd be very sad if I did, because I feel I've looked around this place pretty hey, thoroughly. No running on the beach. But yeah, the shipwreck Larry is re referring to is uh, over here. This is actually something I had to look up because I didn't even know. Oh, look at that! It's the same the same image down there as you know when you look when you shipwreck down below us. Yeah, the same thing up there. There's a stream of light. The heavens above us. I guess that is kind of like looking up in water, isn't it? Wow, I never thought about that before. That's kind of cool. So yeah, I had to totally look this up because I had no idea the ship was even a thing. And oh, and when I did look it up, I was like, oh yeah, that ship. But it's still silly. I really mean it this time, dude. No talking, no singing, and no way I'm taking off my tough man championship belt. Wow, what a dinkle. That's it, Larry. You give me no choice but to invoke my greatest singing powers. Prepare yourself. Oh snap. Were two fellows who met at the beach. One needed a belt that seemed out of reach. It had a big letter that would open a treasure, but the big guy who wore it didn't want to remove it. So SpongeBob decided to sing a mid song. If you think I'll give up, boy, are you wrong? <laughs> okay, that's enough. You want my belt so bad, then you'll have to win it the same way I did. In the Tough Man Arena. Oh, snap. Just climb on board when you think you're ready, tough guy. Wow, a floating sign. And he just jumps up. Wow, Larry, you are the manliest man to have ever manned. Go aboard the shipwreck. Okay, then. We are now aboard the shipwreck. Oh, boy, I'm scared. Oh, boy, should we collect all of the balloons first? I guess so. I don't know if there's any... I, don't, I mean, I don't think there's anything we're gonna miss. I was say, we should be able to jump up there. I guess it is better to do this first because once we fight Larry, we'll have. All, well, that's not true. We won't have all letters because we gotta get to the top of the crow's nest still. Yeah, I really hope I'm not missing any letters here. I'd be very sad about that. You guys would see a very sad Mr. Christopher. Well, I do know. The doubloons, chances are they would be in uh, the first area there, since that's the easiest place to miss. Because Lighthouse, I mean, is a pretty straightforward path there. But it's kind of hard to miss the balloons there. Arr, arr, matey. Nothing up here? Nope. Oh, there it is, but. Not yet. Not yet! Um. Yeah, it's weird. This crow's nest goes up and down for some reason. Very slow. I didn't even notice it was moving the first time. But yeah, if you pay attention to like the center pole here, it's moving up and down. Yeah, that's how you get the B. The B Y O B. No. Uh, okay, I thought I totally thought I was going down already. 
Wow, it really goes really high up there, doesn't it? All right, well, I guess we'll go, well, it doesn't make sense to do this one first. Whee! <laughs> we did it! All by myself. All by myself! Oh no, it's going up. Stop going up. I need you to come down. Now it's coming down. This makes me very happy. Yes, there we go. Alright, let's see what random out. Is that it? Oh no. 304 is a very weird number. 99%. Ah, uh, is there anything on the deck? Please tell me there's something on the deck here. <gasps> there's. No, that's his belt. Crap! I'm missing one! Oh no, it's gonna turn out like downtown all over again. Oh man. That is horrible. Alright, Larry, let's see what you got. Oh, are we gonna actually get a fight on this time? Oh, snap, you guys. Are you ready for the most epic karate match? Also, why this deck get so big? The rules up, Larry? are real simple. We get a short amount of time to bust stuff up. The person with what? the highest score at the end wins the belt. But I'm warning you, anything goes. Got any questions? Then yes, let the why are you so stupid? Begin. Let the battle begin! So, I mean, the hardest of all of the battles, but it's still really easy. Honestly, if you're just, if you just got like enough boxes and then just kept hitting them over and over again, he can't do a dang thing. So you attack quicker than he can get away. But, uh,. Honestly, I don't find these difficult at all. I mean, we're losing right now, but not for long. There we go. Now we're tied up. I'm patching up, though. I'm lessening the distance. Just that freaking... That, like, torpedo move, man. <laughs> it's crazy effective. It's so crazy. So crazy. Whoa! Bam. 21 to 18. What's up, Larry? What's up? What's up? You want some of this punk sucker? Oh no, oh no, oh wow, uh oh. Okay. Woo, for a second there, I was getting a little bit worried. I could not attack the boxes. I did! You've got a lot of heart, little dude. The championship <laughs> belt is yours. Time oh. for a kelp smoothie. Okay, bye. <gasps> Wait, is that is that how you exit here? I mean, that box opened up. and I don't think I ever noticed that before. Is there any doubloons there? <gasps> what if there's doubloons there? Good lord, I want the doubloons. I want the double loons. Oh snap, this is the last of the treasure hunting things. Am I gonna get? Ah, well, the second last actually. Am I gonna get the hardest puzzle in existence? Ah, wow, for a I didn't think there was a timer. We got buoys. We got. What is that? Oh, it's a treasure chest floating around. There's a Larry flying around. And there's a lifesaver. Oh, what's in this corner here? Alright, it's one of those weird trees. Alright, um. So you probably want to deal with this side first. So these look weird. I don't know what they, they remind me of something. I don't know what they remind me of, but they remind me of something. Let me tell you. We did it! Yay! Ooh, I do not know where this treasure chest is. I'll probably remember once I start walking towards it. But, uh, they're not, they're never very difficult to find, so I'm not really too worried about it. Maybe they're in one of the other shipwrecks. The other 17 shipwrecks in this level. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. Loading, loading, loading. Loading, loading, loading. Alright, um, so it appears to be that way. Is it up here? I don't know. I think so. I don't think it's like on top of this or something, right? Yeah, it looks like it's down here. So yeah, the, the, actually the way to exit the uh, that part of the level there is just by jumping off anywhere and it leads you back down here. Where is it? Crap. Is it over here? It might be over here somewhere. It appears to be this way. Leads. I, th I feel like it's down one of these like weird secret path or not secret passages, but kind of like off the beaten path, problem? you know? Where? Is this way? Is this a way? Mm. 
Very interesting, very interesting indeed. Hmm. Piers of continually be Oh, is it not it can't be at the pier. It's definitely not at the pier. Right. Oh my voy moy. Go over to the pier here. Alright. Let's back more. More of this. Probably over here. Oh, is it over here? I think it's over here somewhere. Are you looking for trouble? Yes, I'm looking for trouble. Yay! What am I gonna get? What am I gonna get? <gasps> wow, it's a percent? I don't even know what that is, 100%. Yeah! Eww! Disgusting! Absolutely disgusting! Okay, so it's at this point that Plankton appears in Chum World. Don't know why. It's really dumb. This is what triggers him doing that, and I'm pretty sure there's no indication of it. But, uh, yep. He totally appears at Chum World now. Okay, so obviously I'm not going to bore you guys looking around Goo Lagoon for the last freaking doubloon. But I'm going to have to do that. I'm so sad about it. But it's got to be done. It's got to be done. I'm really hoping I didn't miss it at the pier location because that would that would be the worst thing. Oh no! The time has come for you to join my ghostly No, I refuse! <gasps> Fear not, my little friend. Remember what the book said? The treasures you have found will protect you from his magic. Show some respect for your new captain. No! I don't wanna! <laughs> See? His powers have become as limp as stewed seaweed. Hey, go easy on me. I'm not the ghost I used to be, but who is? Go wow. Bob. Go self. Oh but my do God, it's very creepy. But confident. You must still find the remaining treasures if you're going to break the Dutchman's spell over your friends. You'll never find all my treasures. I don't know. We really have like one left, dude. Dude. Dude, doesn't like take Larry or something, but I don't think he does take Larry. Um, I, hmm, I guess I'll stay a SpongeBob. Goo lagoon. Okay, I will be right back while I look for the remaining doubloons. Maybe, but I don't know. See you guys in a bit, or a couple hours maybe. <sighs> Hopefully, it's in an obvious location. I'm hoping it's on the deck of the ship somewhere. You know what? I remember having issues finding this last doubloon too. All right, but it turned out to be in one of the sandcastles. Maybe it'll be in one of the sandcastles again. I don't know, enough talk. See you guys in a bit. <gasps> I see them. No! Don't flutter down to your doom, SpongeBob. How did I even miss those? They're so obvious, and I've only been gone for a few seconds. That is nice. Hopefully, those are the only ones I missed. Yeah. Oh, yes! I did it! Holy crap, that is amazing. Oh, I'm so happy about that, you guys. Oh, oh no, I don't want to go back up. Take it. I got too close. It's like in Super Mario 3D World where you walk too close to a pipe and it immediately sucks you in. <sighs> Alright. Well, with that, we have 100% in every single world, doubloon, jellyfish, and money-wise, sand dollar-wise. Uh, in the next episode, we will return to Chum World and hunt out Plankton uh, and finish Chum World 100%. And then all that will be left is the final area of the game. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, the best way to support me is by leaving a like and subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, if there's any games you want to recommend to me to play, or if anything you want to see me play on my channel, check out the top link in my description. It leads you to a video where you can leave suggestions for games for me to play. And the next one, we take on the one, the only Chum World bus stop. I was kind of hoping this would actually be the, the downtown bus stop because it would have been funny, but it's not funny, so shut up. Shut up, Chris. It's not funny. I'll tell you guys later. Bye!